Ryder was excited. He'd been investigating the company's books and found smudges on the page. He was an editor to an unresolved story, he alone wielding the red pen. Ryder hoped his clandestine meeting with Emily would help put the rest of the words in order. Sorry I'm late. I had to run to my car. Your note mentioned that office supplies has been disappearing. Notepads, staplers, and an office chair? It was the type of job Ryder long felt suited to, possessing a clever wit, insight into the darkest depths of the human psyche and a lyrical prose. Yes. Well, who do you suspect? There was a cast of characters. Johnson the techie and Janine with a new car. Billy with the tattoos and Miranda who- Are you alright? Yes. Well, uh, like I was saying, the render was flashy jewelry. But the income listed in her personnel file doesn't match her lifestyle, so... But you didn't just say that. You were thinking of it. Here came Ryder's big monologue, the one he'd been born to make. Join me. And we will bring order to the world. Truth to the victimized. And justice to the wicked. Her personnel file? He was wedged between confidence and self-apathy. He'd become the anti-hero. That confusion turned thoughtfulness to... Emily didn't get all of the information she'd come for, but enough to figure that grabbing the office ficus from her car had been premature. I bet I could squeeze a copy machine in the truck.